So Organized Compost Club has been out for quite some time now. It's been out since 2006 and a lot of people have been wanting a season two and I'm going to talk about what happens if Oregon High School Post Club were to come back. Would it be would it be a season two or would it be something completely different? So let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So what is Oregon High School Host Club? Um, so Oregon High School Host Club is a delightful Japanese manga series that was written and illustrated by Bisco Hattori. By the way, I'm reading this from my laptop. There's no way in hell I'm fucking like spilling this out of my mouth so you're welcome so it revolves around Hado Haruhi Fujioka and she's a scholarship student student <laughs> she's a scholarship student at um Oran Academy where it's a private elite school where only the wealthy people go and it's actually located in Bukyo Tokyo so that's a fun thing so let's give you a little bit of a brief little idea just in case for the people that don't know exactly 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 what it is so the setting is in Oran Academy, which is a place where the ultra-rich send their children. Um, there's a lot of privilege there, there's a lot of people with good money there, so you can get some rich ass, you can get a sugar daddy there, I'm, I'm, just, I'm kidding. So basically, Haruhi tries to find a quiet place to study, and she stumbles upon the music room three, or the third music room, I don't know. And basically, she thinks that there's no one in there, so she can study in there. I mean, it would have been so funny if it was empty. She could be dancing around. Like, no, I would have done that. I've done that multiple times before. When the classes are empty, I'm just like, ooh, let me dance in there. <laughs> I've done it so many times, it's insane. So she finds that the Oran High School host club is in there, and she's just like, huh? Which it consists of six men and stuff. So they basically... Uh, she breaks this antique vase that's worth 8 million yen. It's, it's around six thousand dollars, sixty thousand dollars, <laughs> to be to have that much money. So to repair her debt, she becomes like a you know, like errand boy. She becomes an errand boy, even though she's a she's a girl. They don't know that yet. So they mistake her for a boy and whatnot. So she has to entertain girls, all that stuff. And it's a romantic comedy. So I think everyone who likes humor, romance, and delightful interactions, I think they'll like it. So. The manga has been adapted into an animated television series, which is the one that everyone wants to see too, too. And there's a live action film and a two musical adaptations. I didn't even know this until I like looked it up and like was what the fuck. So, and by the way, all that information I got it from Google, so you're fucking welcome. So, where the fuck is the series now? I should not be cursing. I want to act serious. <laughs> so, where's the series now? So, the series has hasn't had a season two in 15 years. Yeah. Um, so also, the series will not be taken well in 2024, and I will tell you guys why. So the reason why this season two would not be taken well is because of the homophobic phrases. For example, the Labellia episode, the first Labellia episode, there's a lot of stuff that, um, I'm not, not going to point any names, <laughs> Tamaki and some of the other members have said that are not okay. Um, and then there's also sexist phrases. For example, the Thunder episode, the Tamaki Thunder episode, I actually really like that episode, but sadly because the episode was um, sexist, for example, the part where Tamaki gets mad at Haruhi that she tried to protect the girls even though herself is a girl, kind of calling girls weak. And not only that, Kyoya saying like, oh, you know, <laughs> you're completely defenseless again. As much as it was a hot scene, like, come on now. Is my camera whack? I feel like my camera is whack. Whatever. So those scenes will probably not be taken well in 2024. They weren't, and especially when people rewatch the series and they're just like, oh my god, there's so much homophobic stuff in here. And I'm like, you're right. And when I was rewatching the series, which was why I wanted to make this video, um, I realized that. So yeah, the things I'm thinking of are either a season two, a movie, or like shorts of some, re of some kind. And I'll explain them all one by one so you guys can understand a bit better. So season two. So I don't think that a season two is likely because it's come on. It's like how many years has it been? 15 years since the last season? About 15 years, I think. I don't know. It's probably been longer, but I don't know. And, you know, the production team won't be the same. There, like, there's obviously, no matter what, if you recreate something or, you know, bring something back, obviously the production team isn't going to be the same. But in this case, in this sense... The production team will be the same, the animation will be the same, and just overall, some voice actors won't even be the same, which I'll go into later. Um, so it would be difficult to start a season two because the anime ended very differently than the manga did. 
So if you don't know, when the anime was being made, the manga was also still being made. So when the manga caught up to, when the anime caught up to the manga, it wasn't finished yet. So they, you know, the creators came up with this story, the, you know, the story to finish off the manga. So sometimes some anime wait until the manga's finished. For example, Inuyasha. Inuyasha went on a big hiatus throughout their, you know, throughout the creation of the anime because of the fact that the manga wasn't finished. And sometimes it is a risk to do that because sometimes you will lose viewers. Like, they would be like, oh, you know, I don't want to wait for it. I'm just going to read the manga. Or I don't want to wait for it. I'm just going to move on to another anime. So some people forget about it. So it's kind of sad. So some people do that. And also with Soul Leader, which will probably be my next episode if I, this video is fun and I actually end up finishing it. Soul Leader also had the same thing where they ended up just coming up with a random ending to it so that they don't have to, you know, continue the manga, which is like, let me continue the anime to see the anime. And I'm like, bro, this big. So for example, in the ending, these things are not in the manga. And by the way, I read the manga and it's so good. Highly recommend it. You should read it. So Tamaki getting engaged, that does not happen in the, in the you know, in the manga. Eclair, uh, I hate her so much. Um, she doesn't even exist. She does not exist. She was just for the animated series. So she's not even an original character. And if you guys don't know, Haruhi's outfit in the and in the final episode, it actually is very different. So the Oron Fair does end up happening, but it's played very differently. You do see the grandma, but it is very differently played. It's very different. So I recommend, I don't know what chapter it is, and I'm not going to even tell you guys, so you guys can go and read the full thing, because it's really good. I recommend it 100%. But how do he, his outfit is different. She's dressed as a girl in um, the anime, but while in the manga, she's still dressed up like the rest of the members, and so does, you know, Tamaki. Guess what color Tamaki is? I feel like Tamaki's white, since everyone kind of follows like their color flower. I think Tamaki's white. I mean, he's white, but look at what I mean. So, yeah, I, all, all in all, I don't think a season two is going to happen anytime soon, just because of the fact that there is possibly no, um, there's no, there's, there's, it would be completely different, and overall the jokes from the first aura on high school high school are like kind of bad that i feel like bringing it back would be like bringing also bringing up season one which will cause even more problems because it's, it's really offensive stuff so yeah anyway so what do we think about a movie so a movie could possibly happen but things would be cut short so movie lengths usually are like anime movie lengths from what i know they're an hour to two hours long and if you're lucky three hours which this isn't the batman movie and this isn't oppenheimer so i don't think it's gonna be three hours long for an anime movie and it's just not enough time to show the content from the manga because there's a lot of stuff that i feel like the anime cuts out like even in the anime the first season there is a lot of stuff that's cut out which i will go to into later so if the beginning were to start of the manga to the end of the manga it would be rushed. It would just be rushed because there's so much content and intricate, intricate character development that I think will be very much cut in a, in, an, in a movie. So yeah, and they would have to cut so much also because you know how, you know, like plot and like the rising, like the right resolution, you know that one mountain thing you like used to do in English and then like the climax and the resolution? Yeah, that. There's a lot of that throughout the manga. And if you want to make a movie to make it interesting, you have to have kind of that be consistent so yeah a lot of stuff would be cut and i feel like a lot of stuff would be made up too so yeah so i propose that like if they were to start with a movie that they finish the movie with the ending of the manga and then just have you know fill it up so that it has a lot of content and then go from there you know what i mean i'll have a chart of a little thingy i made i hopefully it makes sense like the ending of the manga and then Kind of just filling it in to like whatever point that it can to have it, you know, end with the manga. I don't know. That's like kind of something I thought of. Just so you can have more content, honestly, and obviously just overall just see the ending of the manga. I think that's what a lot of people care about is how it ends. Which I'm not going to spoil it here. Hopefully not. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. So, next one. Remake. Uh, this would probably be the best bet. Honestly, it's the best bet. Because... Let's use Fruits Basket as an example here. So if you don't know what Fruits Basket is, you're fucking lame. Um, <laughs> so the Fruits Basket remake came out in 2019 and is far more accurate to the manga than the original created in the early 2000s. If you've never seen the early 2000s one, it probably ended way differently than the manga did. I don't know, I've never read the manga before. And the remake is very different and it's more accurate towards the manga, which a lot of fans like. So yeah. 
And the art style is updated as well as the story, so it's a lot more interesting and fans are obviously going to want to go watch it to, you know, figure out like what's the differences and I guess the true ending. So yeah. So according to a friend I had before, she said that the art style looked far more engaging than the original one. So that could be the case with Oron 2. Oron did come out in 2006, but and have like a more updated, engaging style, but who knows. I feel like a lot of people watch the um, the remake more than the original. That's good. I guess that's what I get because of the art style. It looks a little more cleaner, I guess you could say. So this could happen with Oran High School Lose Club. We could have an updated, updated art style that looks more engaging, but... We have a but. The art style is already engaging and there's no visible flaws <laughs> like Persona 5, the animation. <laughs> But jokes aside, <laughs> jokes aside, the art style is still relevant in 2024. Like, I definitely still see people, like, liking the art style. If you compare it, like, the art style to, like, maybe a little bit of some newer shoujo manga, you, or anime, you, it looks, it still looks good. It still looks, like, pretty, you know, it, it still fits the vibe, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, I guess, and also, people who are new to anime, I think will for sure still watch in this anime and not realize it's from like 2009 um because it's still good it still looks good there aren't any like animation flaws like i don't want to be mean but like to like the original fruits basket there are a couple animation flaws but you know it still looks good so um i don't i think the art style overall if they do do a remake it won't be as updated for example inuyasha so if you don't know inuyasha has like three shows it's like excluding the movies these are so good. So <laughs> it's Inuyasha, the original, then it's the final act, and then it's Yashihime. So the art style isn't updated like Fruits Basket, because Fruits Basket, there's a very prominent update. Like, you can see it. But with Yashihime, like Inuyasha to the final act of Inuyasha, and then the Yashihime, you can tell that there's not much of an update going on. They still look the same. They look, they still, you can still watch them and not really realize the art style change, if you get what I mean. So this could happen with Oron as well, because there are longtime fans who would love to see the original like art style, just for that nostalgic feel. So the last thing I propose are shorts. So it could be like um, five to six small episodes of like chapters that were excluded from the anime, because there was a lot that was excluded from the anime. Um, because there's a lot of it. There's a lot. So, for example, Honey Senpai's love interest. He has a love interest that is from the Dark Club. And, like, that could be such a good little short. It's just such a short chapter that was so fast to read. That can be a good five to six small, you know, like five, like ten minute short. It would be, you know, it's really, it's really good. It's really good and it adds, like, fun story and character. Also, Mori Senpai's brother... Um, in the Chika episode, the Chika-chan episode, so, um, there, Mori has a brother that hangs out with Honey Senpai's brother, and it's like, bro, what the, that could have been such a good episode, like, what the, like, that would have been so good to the episode, there's so much stuff, there's a whole Reddit post that I'll link in the link in the description down below, you guys can read it. So, hi, editing me here, uh, I completely forgot to mention this as well, that, um, in the episode where Tamaki goes to, like, comes to japan and like he meets kyoya he actually ends up meeting the girl that we see in that chapter um actually has a whole backstory she's a whole ass fucking backstory that is not mentioned throughout the whole um uh, show so just wanted to mention that really quick yeah the only reason i see this not happening is because i don't think a lot of people would like it i think a lot of people would have loved or would love to see the continuation of the anime not like the filler that was missing in the anime i mean to be honest like the whole anime is like feels to me like filler <laughs> so it's like more filler but anyway conclusion what's better to be honest it's up to you guys like you guys let me know i don't i'm not i'm not i'm not here creating the show okay but to be honest in my opinion because this is my this is an opinionated video who the fuck said it wasn't I think that the shorts would be easier to make and would give fans like the things that they missed from the manga because I think there's a lot of fun stuff and it gives character like we do have a Honey Senpai episode where Honey Senpai does express um like he, he like we get a little bit backstory and then we get a little more of a love interest but like still like I would have loved to see that stuff and Mori Senpai's little brother I think his name is like Shoto or something I don't fucking remember his name 
but the re but the shorts i don't think a lot of people would like um the remake would take some time to create no shit and the art style is still relevant to this day like i still see the art style you know being used like i don't know how to explain it but it's still relevant it's still relevant that's all you need to know so Overall, no matter what outcome, a lot of the offensive jokes and episodes would be have to be removed and wouldn't be exactly the original. So the manga, yes, it still has the, you know, homophobic and sexist jokes in them. That's where the anime got it from. So I feel like most of the episodes would have to be cut. Like, my favorite episode is the Tamaki and Haruhi Thunder episode. I don't like it. The only reason I don't like it is because of the homophobic, I guess, all the homophobic and sexist stuff that are said in that episode. I just, I, I ship Tamaki and Haruhi, so leave me be. But, uh, yeah, I, that's the only thing I hate is that they, I, I mean, they both went to, came to an understanding, which is nice. But at the same time, it's like, why you gotta be sexist about it, bro? Like, come on now. Anyway, so overall, why not? Why should we not get anything for Oran High School Host Club? So like I said, this anime has not been worked on since 2009, which was 15 years ago. So, you know, and to bring up some drama, well, I'm actually not going to talk about it too much because I don't want to talk about it. It's a non-drama channel and I don't know exactly what's going on. But Tamaki's voice actor has got some stuff going on. So, um, uh, I don't know much of it. I looked it up and I... You could just look it up. I just look it up. Honestly, just look it up. It'll pop up. Just look up what happened to Tamaki's voice actor and it immediately pops up. You can figure it out on your own. Um, but not only Tamaki's voice actor, who knows? Maybe the original voice actors are not going to want to come back to voice act the characters again or, you know, don't have time for it, you know? For example, like in Yashihime, um, all yes, some of the voice actors came back for, you know, the, like, sequel of Inuyasha, but... but um, you know, some of them for, like, other of the other um, characters didn't come back. So it's like, you know, you don't always get so lucky. So, anyway. So some of the jokes might not be taken lightly um, now because we're in 2024. Things have changed. Things have become more serious. Uh, so, like, the humor, quote-unquote humor, which is not humor at all nowadays, won't be, will be probably taken away. So there will probably be, like, some stuff that are, like, way different from the anime like different from the manga just probably the only thing that will be different will probably be those jokes because i do not think that they would like let that slide in 2024 no one will let that slide in 2024 like come on now or all in all just go read the manga literally just go read the freaking manga you can buy the book set on amazon for like cheap it's 78 dollars right now it's on discount just go buy it literally just go buy the manga it's literally not that hard i'll leave, literally leave the link in the description for the freaking product it's so good and it's a book set you get like it's you get a free memo pad come on now it's it's not that hard literally just go read it but overall i really do hope that oran high school host club comes back sometime soon maybe not another decade because that would be crazy but anyway what do you guys think like let me know in the comments down below because i would like to know what you guys think because to be honest this is such a like everyone always wants a season two of it but seeing how the anime changed like the anime ended i don't think we're gonna get a season two because i feel like it would immediately just cut spoiler alert for the manga i'm gonna spoil everyone right now because i literally told you to go read it and if you don't want to go read it that's your problem but tamaki and haruhi end up together so i feel like it'll just cut to haruhi and tamaki being together and make it this shitty story with a bunch of filler. <laughs> Cause literally like when they get together, it's like close to the end of the manga. They just go on a date and like, it shows like a little bit of the stuff that'll happen in the future. But I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you guys want me to do this with another anime that didn't get continued, that the manga continued in, let me know, let me know, let me know. Uh, and I will do a whole little review and you know, analysis. So, I don't know. Just let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I will see you next time. Peace out, Girl Scout. I haven't done that in a while. Oh, my God. <laughs> also, one last thing I wanted to mention is that I also have a brand now. So, it's called Food Food Designs. Check it out. It's going to be in the link in the description down below. So, you guys can check out the website and the Instagram. All right, that's it. Bye for real now. <laughs>